welcome to Kitchen Secrets with Surbi. In this episode, I'll be teaching you how to make this homemade red pasta sauce from scratch. It's incredibly easy, stress-free, fuss-free sauce to make once you get the hang of it. And it's so versatile that it can be used in pastas, pizzas, and in bakes. Red sauce pasta recipe is not just practical, but it's also really delicious. And uh, once you start making it, you will never go back to buying uh, store-bought sauces again begin by introducing the ingredients. So here I have tomatoes. I've washed and cleaned them and there are roughly 12 to 14 tomatoes and I weighed them and they weigh roughly around 750 to 800 grams. I also have here half a cup of ketchup, one fourth cup of butter, it doesn't matter, you can take salted or unsalted, one fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil. I've taken here uh, two tablespoons of palm sugar but I won't be using all of it. I also have here one teaspoon of the dried mixed herb and one teaspoon of dried parsley. If you can get fresh parsley, that's fine. Um, then I have 10 to 15 leaves of basil and a few cloves of garlic. I've taken two teaspoons of the red chili flakes, but you can always modify this amount depending on how much chili you can tolerate. And we'll also use some salt and black pepper powder for seasoning. I'll start by chopping the tomatoes. So I'll remove this top bit. So since these are smaller tomatoes, I'm just going to quarter them. So these are the chopped tomatoes and the next step is I'll add these tomatoes into a blender. And with this, I'll add all the garlic and the fresh basil. I will now blend this to a nice smooth consistency. I've just blended the sauce and this is what it looks like. And we are now ready for the next step. I've put and the oil. To this olive oil and butter mix, I'll add the chili flakes and the dried herbs. These are dried mixed herbs and parsley and just give them a thorough mix and keep the flame on medium to low heat because you don't want the spices to burn you just want the aroma to flavor your butter and oil mixture uh, it seems like we are where we want it to be as I can smell the spices I can smell the mixed herbs and I can smell the chili flakes I will add the sauce mixture And start adding the other ingredients. So at this point I'll add the ketchup and one tablespoon of sugar I'm adding uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt I can adjust the salt later if I want and half a teaspoon of the black pepper powder. This is freshly ground. I'll mix it again. I'll continue to give it a stir and all you need to do now is put the lid on and leave it on medium to low heat. This is how it should look after 10 minutes. You need to now work on the consistency. So I'll give it another 10 minutes. It's been 20 minutes um, and this is what the sauce looks like. So as you can see, um, you know, the it's bubbling and the oil has sort of come up and that's what we are looking for. I'll quickly um, give it another mix and then we'll see, um, we'll check for the flavorings. The thing with pasta sauce is you, you can't hurry. It demands that you let it sit and simmer for some time. It's taken us a good 20 to 25 minutes to come to this point. I'm going to just do a taste test. For us, this is fine, but you can always uh, modify the amount of chili depending on whom you're serving it to. After 20 to 25 minutes on low heat, this is where we've gotten to. This is how the sauce should look. At this point, you can be a little adventurous with the sauce if you'd like. You can add in some olives. You can add some sautéed mushrooms or some sun-dried tomatoes. Mm -hmm. 
Ach, ich bin noch zum Basel. And sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. You can serve it with warm homemade butter garlic toast. homemade bread pasta sauce. This is certainly something you would want to give it a try at home. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching. Until I see you again next time, take care.